what's going on everybody happy friday hope you're all having a good one i wanted to do a quick video talking about tonight's slate i will be live at six eastern i do have all my early builds my bets everything up on truedfs.com if you haven't checked it out please do also like and subscribe we really appreciate that but to go through what i'm going to do on this slate it, it, this is a, a very tough friday slate not so many obvious spots that you know won't be owned uh, a lot of different pitching options so basically you can get an idea of what my early builds look like if you are a member of true dfs and i suggest you take a look at it if uh if you're not here's here's a, a sort of a rundown of what i'm going to be doing so i have my stacks ranked first of all toronto one factoring ownership and everything philly two i want pieces of both the nats and cincy um so that's going to be my third priority even though i'm not going to fully stack either of those teams uh the next full stacks for me would be the mets uh, White Sox, more pieces, but I'm open to to full stack. And the Yankees um, are my other team that I want to go back to the well on, but mostly for pieces as well. That's sort of the priority teams I'm building around. Pitching, I do think it's pretty clear that Garrett Cole is the number one option. I really like Bieber tonight. He would be my number two uh, in terms of the spend ups. I think everybody in that range is really viable. Uh, Bieber, Peralta, um, I think you can make an argument for Musgrove. I think Bassett, um, I think that you could make a good argument for Strider, uh, all these guys. I'm just sort of going with the ones I feel best. And that's Cole and Bieber right now. My other spend downs or, or middling guys. I do like Justin Steele. Uh, I think he's got plenty of upside tonight against Milwaukee, uh, put up 30 against these guys the other day, uh, 29.7 on DK and, uh, has good strikeout stuff. And I think he has a chance to, you know, he's been pitching better as the season's gone on. I, I do like Justin Steele as a slight spend down. And then, I've got Glenn Otto, and then the ultimate value is the Cade Cavalli, which I think some people will be on. We don't really know how far he's going to go into this game. This guy's got some talent, um, probably the, the best prospect for Washington, and I'm willing to gamble on him at 5K against a weak Cincy team. At the same time, as I mentioned, I think you could take both sides of this. I even think Mike Miner's in play as well, even though I like some Washington pieces. But those are my spend downs. That's sort of a rough outlook of what I'm doing, and it's going to be Cole. It's going to be in about probably a little more than half my lineups. On FanDuel, Cole will be my, my main pitcher. I will throw Bieber into one lineup or so. Um, and then on, on, on DK, it's going to be a mix of the Cavalli, Steele, um, using a little bit of Strider and a little bit of Bassett along with, uh, with uh, excuse me, um, why can't I think of the name all of a sudden off the top of my head, um, Musgrove. Uh, but I, I don't have those guys – all that different. And I think if you had to pick, you take the one, the best matchup, which would be Musgrove. But again, I still prefer Bieber to any of those guys. So it is Bieber and Cole one and two. And then at the lower end or middle thing, it's Cavalli and Steele. So that's what I'm going to be doing tonight. Um, some individual spots to look for. Even if you're not playing the Yankees, I do really like judge and Cabrera just as a little two man combo. You can, you know, it's, it, it evens out price wise. Um, I do like the Yankees tonight. I just, it's not great hitting weather. It's not a great hitters park. They did still put up 13 last night in the same environment. I don't see why they couldn't do it again. Um, really like the, uh, you know, I mentioned pieces from Washington, Voight, Thomas, Cruz, um, outfielders. I really like the, uh, you know, the Philly outfielders and the, uh, Toronto outfielders. Um, and then you get into the Mets outfielders as well. So those are probably my three favorites and that's what I'll be doing there. Um, some price point plays, some values for you guys. Uh, I mentioned Lane Thomas already. Uh, I like um, Moustakis. If you want to go way down, Michael Massey at a really weak second base position, even a tough matchup. I like Jake Fraley at 2.7 versus Cavalli, where you're not using Cavalli. And I think you can make an argument for Michael Chavis as well at 2K. So those are some values. And I will be live at 6 Eastern. We don't have sheets today, but we're going to make some money. We're going to get into this weekend right and August strong. Um, time to do it, guys. Let's get it. Let's get lucky and uh, let's run hot and we will uh, cover everything at six. Good luck, everybody.